Hello my friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some macro art using copper wire that anybody can find around the house. It's so easy but so effective. So let's get on with it. Hello, welcome back. I'm Leol as you already know. Um, today what we're going to be doing is doing some macro art. Mac the one I'm going to be using is some copper wire that I found in a plug. Now this usually comes in a plastic sleeve in any plugs when all I've done is separated it, cut a long piece out of it and I'm left with some copper wire strands. Today I'm going to be attempting to do some macro art. What's macro art? Now everybody has an opinion on what art is and everybody's opinion on what macro is. All I'm trying to do today is look for something different in macro photography. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, be using this copper wire to bend and twist, add water droplets to, put some background to, and now hopefully get something that I really like. I have done this once or twice and people have been asking me how I do it and what I do. So today I'm just going to simplify it all down and show you how it's done. So what I'm going to do in a minute is we're going to set everything up and I'm going to get through some things for you. We need some copper wire, a skewer, a pen or anything with a spike that leading down on a taper and a pair of snips or a pair of scissors just to cut the copper wire. That's the main, that's, that's what we're going to be using to start off with. Then we'll be going out and we'll be getting some, like say, we're printing so on to apply it or, or whatever, adding water, milk, and, but we'll talk you through that in a bit. Okie dokie, let's get creative. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make some props like this. This is the one I'm actually going to use for the photo today. I'm going to balance some water up on the top. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually make them. Now I've got a pair of black gloves on, so you can gloves on, shall I say, so you can see, hopefully, see better what I'm going to do. Right, we've got our copper wire. Yeah, all we do is we pull it through our fingers to make sure that it's smooth. Then snip it off to where we want it. Then we get the skewer. What I'm going to do here is make a spiral. Well, hopefully, make a spiral. So, what I'll do is from my finger, leave a bit hanging over. Yeah, the reason is it tends to slide. So, all you need is to get it on where you want it. Yeah, from my finger. And these gloves are much good. Right, and then you're going to wrap it round. You're going to wrap it round coming down to the very tip. Like that. And then we're just going to gently tease it off the end of it. And now we've got a bit of an ice cream cone, but it's nice and all you've got to do is neaten it up at the end. Snips again. Scissors are probably better this one. It'll be fine. And there we go. We've got a nice ice cream cone. So you can add your water drop to the top or you can Pull it, elongate it a bit more. Put your water drops on the ends. You can even bend this stuff, yeah, to where you want it. Place it in a dish, spray it, and your water drops lang off, and it makes a brilliant effect. There's lots of different ways you can create with this. I'm all right. I'm all set up now. It's just a case now with my background drawn to where I want them. I'm manually focused in on the water drop in the milk. So that's all okay. I'm currently shooting at 1 80th of a second, f.6, and ISO 100. What I'm going to be doing now is, if you notice on my videos, I've got my snoot and my deflector on. I haven't today. I'm just going to open the shoot and hope for the best. But what I'm going to be doing is move my background around to see what I get. Because as you know, you, you change and you change one background and you get something else. So it's a matter of casing now, moving around your background to get what you want and changing. You can change your power of your flash by all means, which makes it darker, lighter, or whatever. 
put them, this is how I'm getting my shots. Like I say, just moving it around and you get some outstanding shots. Outstanding. Let me just try to show you the back of the screen now. Right, hopefully you can see the back of my screen. If you need 1K again, somebody point out. Right, this is where we're going to get creative now with the colours. Yeah? So like I said, so we're going to be adding now the backgrounds. Like I said, twist and turn, move them all about and you're going to get different pictures. The way you put them, the way you push them, the way you manipulate that light really gives you some lovely backgrounds. It's a case of trial and error. Look at that one. It's a case of trial and error and just moving stuff about. Every time you move, you're going to get something different. A little bit of background on that. And all this is just with copper wire. And a good day was had by all. I hope you've enjoyed today. Just shows what people we can do around the house, bits of copper wire and other things lying about. Don't be afraid to try it. You know, it, it, you get some great results. I mean, that's just how to bring macro into the world of art. I don't know, I mean, you might like bugs, but why we can't go outside at the moment and the weather's a bit dull, we might as well practice, 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 practice. That's what makes us the better, the perfect, well, not perfect, no one's ever perfect, but that's what makes us better. Yeah, you can never stop learning. Anybody who tries to tell me that they're the best photographer in the world, bullshit, because you can never stop learning. Like, so just keep practicing and enjoying yourself. Now, if you like what you've seen, and you like my channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, please, that's all I ask you. I'm enjoying doing these at the moment. I was, was going to go outside, but the weather started. I went out yesterday, the weather's gorgeous. I got, got up this morning, ready to go out again, and the weather's moved. So, until next time, practice, try, and let me know what year you get on. Please leave me a comment. Please, you know, Facebook, anything you want. I'm there to help you anytime, I promise you. Until next time. Happy snapping and don't forget to subscribe please. Thank you.